Hello, and welcome back to another Premier Draft Beer Services training video, where we bring out the best in beer. Today's video will be about taking apart three types of fobs. Let's get started. Here are the three types of fobs that are very common to see. Today's video will be just kind of about breaking these apart, how to clean them, how to fix them. And we'll start with this plastic style by TechFlow. And there's a few fittings to know about, and that's referred to as a push-in fitting or a John Guest fitting. You can get a set of keys like I'm showing you here, or if you have the right uh, area to work, you can actually just use your fingers like this, depress, and that'll release that shark bite style fitting. And once you've removed it from the wall, you can actually just uh, twist like this and it'll give you access to the center of it as well. And while we're going over this video and all these different types of fobs, um, there won't be much in-depth guide that I will walk you through. It's more so to be a visual for you to see all the things that need to be taken out uh, so they could be properly clean or address any pouring issues. And if you look closely here, you'll actually see that there are two washers that are stacked on top of each other. Make sure to get both of those out so we can get all the surface area exposed for cleaning. And here's everything disassembled. Uh, really get a good soak of a caustic solution and get a brush to make contact with all these points too to remove any biofilms that have developed um, as biofilms will translate to rougher pores and off flavors. So it's pretty easy. Uh, I like this style a lot. I find that if anything does need to be replaced or repaired, is it can be easily done and they're just easy to work on. They don't stick as often as you'll find others like to stick to. And you definitely don't need a hook and pick set like I'm using here. You can use a small screwdriver or just about anything like you see um, to get into some of those tight spots to pull some of these washers out. And push those together and make sure they're seated as they should be. And that part will just snap in place. And definitely the key here is upon reassembly is really going through to make sure all those gaskets are properly seated. That's just going to ensure proper operation and no leaking as well. And we are mostly done putting this back together. This one was an easier one to take apart and put back together. It's a great opportunity to present to one of your accounts. 
that if they need a service like this done, that you can do all of them. And it really enhances the beer quality as well as the flavor. This type of maintenance really should occur almost with your acid cycles on a quarterly basis. Once you get proficient at it, it's pretty quick. And here's the second plastic style. I also really like these. I find them also to have minimal parts and affordable to replace if they just need to be fully replaced. And now that you've pulled off the wall bracket mount, similar to the last style, is just going to be unscrewing the body from the base. And now with the vent assembly. And if you notice leaks from the vent assembly, replacing just the vent assembly might not be the full solution. Um, sometimes the plastic will wear generally on both the body and the vent assembly, where it makes sense to replace the entire fob assembly. Getting this top cap off your first time might be a little tricky, but once you do it more than once, you'll get it's very simple to do. So we need to pop this cap off here. And you just insert that screwdriver and twist, and that should take it easy on the plastic and give you the ability to pop off that cap and expose the locking clip. You can kind of see here how it sets in there. Give that a forward motion there to pop it. And just like that, you've released it, and now you can actually pull out the entire float assembly. This is the same style fob in our previous video that we disassembled for cleaning. I want to give you a better example of every part laid out so you can kind of see how to reassemble better. And when putting back together in the opposite order, the only part that's a little tricky here is just getting that height right of that black rod you see it there at the top. So after we get this vent assembly put back on, we'll, we'll install the top cap. And you want to expose it just enough so as you slide that cap back on, so it gives you that right height as you push it up to put that snap clip right back in place. And it's that simple. Again, another reason why I really like these is that they're just very easy to take apart and maintain. And same idea. A lot of these, sometimes it makes better sense to replace the entire assembly in case of leaks and operation. Let's slide it back on its wall bracket. And moving on to a stainless steel style, uh, some would visually look at these and say they're a more premium style. They're incorporating stainless steel components. Um, in all reality, these seem to be somewhat more problematic to us for their long-term use, whether it's a stuck plunger um, in the purge mode, um, 
And that is not glass that I'm t taking apart right there. That is a plastic housing. Um, so these do have minimal parts um, for you to pull apart. But there's a lot of internal working things that we don't have access to that can cause uh, some difficulty. But really, this disassembly is just a good visual on how to clean everything. And you do want to remove that because, again, it's about surface area. We need to make sure everything has contact. Let's reassemble in the opposite order we took it apart. And if you've ever worked with one of these fobs before and tried to use your recirculating pump, that float can be difficult sometimes. It'll want to lock in place disassembling this and adjusting where that float is located in there moving it a quarter turn or half turn is sometimes all you need to remedy that stuck fob issue with your recirculating pump thanks so much for watching this educational resource for more information contact your territory supervisor